Your email provider most likely supports what's called dynamic aliases. This allows you to create different aliases on the fly that you can use for any services that you want. In my case, I think that this would be a great opportunity to avoid all of the spam emails that you can get when companies sell your data to data brokers. Sometimes that happens, but then you can't quite track down which service sold your data, so you can't really confront them, and you also can't really filter it in any meaningful way because it's coming from all of these different senders. However, the workaround is dynamic aliases. It allows you to use a plus sign to create a unique identifier that is still going to forward to your regular email address. The nice thing though, is that even when it's showing that who the sender sent to, it will show that email alias as the recipient. So if your data does get sold by a specific company, you can easily create a filter to just delete all of those emails from your mailbox. Also, it allows you to pinpoint who sold your data. It's pretty straightforward to do this. To use this dynamic alias, all you have to do is use your regular email identifier, but add a plus sign before you do an at and then your domain. So for example, this might be bash bunny plus Twitter as my unique identifier for the alias at gmail.com. Hopefully this helps save you from some of the pain of when your data gets sold to data brokers and saves you some money in case you thought that you had to create a ton of different aliases that live on forever. No, 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 just create them on the fly for free. And it is mainly supported by all major email providers even including Proton if you are a Proton user.